I want to ask you to turn with me in your Bible as we continue to study in the book of John. Turn with me to John chapter 9, John chapter 9, and we will read a, a few verses, and this is what it says. It says, Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and he said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated scent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Therefore the neighbors and those who previously had seen that he was blind said, Is not this he who sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. He said, I am he. Therefore they said to him, How were your eyes opened? He answered and said, A man called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said to me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. So I went and washed, and I received sight. Then they said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. This morning we want to take a look at the method, the reason why Jesus actually chose to heal this blind man. Many times in our lives we will find that we are facing obstacles. There are obstacles that we we, we must encounter. There are obstacles that comes our way that actually would rather not deal with at all. This specific blind man, he was purposed for glory. And so because he was purposed for glory, because he, he was actually chosen to be blind, it wasn't because he had sinned, it wasn't because of the sins of his parents. He had been chosen to be blind so that Jesus could transform his obstacle into a miracle. I want you to think about this one more time. This blind, blind man, because you see, if it was sin that had caused him to be blind, his entire family would most likely have been blind. That's what the scripture tells us. But because God had selected him, had chosen him to fulfill purpose in his life, to reveal his glory in his life, he was the one who was chosen to be blind. God wanted to use him as an example. He wanted to use that which appeared to have been a formidable obstacle in his life, that which appeared to be so tough, so difficult, he wanted to take that obstacle and convert it into a miracle. What are the obstacles that you are facing in your life right now? Has it ever occurred to you that Jesus chose you, God chose you to face that obstacle so that he could use you, hallelujah, to convert that obstacle into a miracle and so that he could receive the glory and the honor and the praise. Many times when we face obstacles in our lives, what do we end up doing? We end up crying about it. We end up being depressed about it. We end up wishing that it wasn't us, that it was somebody else. Not realizing that when these difficult situations are allowed in our lives, it's because God wants to take the glory. He wants to work in your life, not in somebody else's life, but he wants to work in yours. And so he's going to take that obstacle in your life, and he's going to change it 
into a miracle so that he can be glorified, so that he can receive honor and praise. As I was reading the scripture verse today, I thought about Mary, the fact that she was pregnant at such a young age. God was taking that obstacle into Mary's life and he was converting it into a miracle. Wow, hallelujah. I thought about Job and how many of you know the story of Job, how he lost all his children, he lost all his possessions, he, he lost his health, he lost everything. But God had chosen him to use that obstacle and to convert it into a miracle. If you are facing a situation in your life this morning that appeared to be too difficult, it appears to be too great, I want to let you know, hallelujah, that the greater the obstacle, the greater the miracle God will perform in your life. The greater the obstacle, saints of God, the greater the miracle. You see, we cannot experience the power of God, the miracles of God, if we don't face any, any obstacles that, that deserve a miracle. How can we experience his power? How can we experience his glory? Paul says, he says, consider it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Guess what? God has chosen you to work on you. He has chosen you so that he could get the glory and so that he could get the honor. He is using you as an example this morning. The blind man condition was not a result of his sin or his parents. Many times you will face an obstacle in your life and you will say, God, why me? Why me? Why, why God? I, I, I don't want to have to deal with this. What did I do? Did I, did I do something wrong? God, I, I don't deserve it. But you see, when God chooses us, that's the reason why he says in everything we ought to give him thanks. We have to understand that when we are going through the difficulties, the, the troubles in our life, that God wants to be glorified in our lives. The deeper the obstacle, the bigger the obstacle, the greater the miracle he will perform for you. Hallelujah. This man's condition was purposed for glory. Is there a situation that you're facing in your life that is purposed for glory? I, wanna, I want you to change your mentality from this point forward and say to yourself, you know what? I am purposed for glory. Hallelujah. Destiny must be fulfilled in my life. Father, thank you for that obstacle. Somebody go ahead and, and, and claim that this morning. Yes, purposed for glory. He was. And so he had to walk around. The scripture doesn't tell us for how long he had been blind. But it had to have been a while because Many people knew him. They looked at him, they're like, wasn't this the blind man? You see, God had chosen him. He had selected him to be blind. Can you imagine? Selected him because he knew that he was going to perform a miracle in his life and he was going to select this, this one person to perform that miracle. The obstacle, hallelujah, became a blessing for this man. Can you imagine? The obstacle became a blessing. He became known to the fact that he was once blind and now he could see. Whereas in the past people didn't even notice him. Or if they did, they, they scorned him because he was disabled, because he was blind. Suddenly he could see again. And there he was grabbing the attention of all the people. The one who was left for dead, the one who was despised, who was scorned, suddenly became the one who everybody was looking up to. Jesus selected him to perform a miracle in his life. He had to face the obstacle first in order to obtain his miracle. This is very important, saints of God. We must face the obstacles in our lives in order to obtain the miracle. 
Otherwise, there would be no word in the dictionary called miracle. There must be an obstacle which must exist in order for that miracle to come to pass. Hallelujah. And so that's why when we face these obstacles in our lives, we must say thank you, Jesus. In everything, we must give God thanks. That's why when we face this obstacle in our lives, rather than wallow in sorrow about it, rather than grumble and complain about it, we must instead prepare for our miracle. The obstacle is the precursor. It's God telling you, you know what? I'm about to perform a miracle in your life. Get ready. Get ready. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Without obstacle, there can be no miracle. And so we're going to get ready when the obstacles come our way. We're going to prepare ourselves. We're going to give God thanks. We're, we're going to get ready. We're going to lift our head up high. We're going to say, God, you know, I, I, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready right now, God. I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm lining up because I know, oh Lord, that you will be taking all the glory. I know, oh God, that you are just using me. That's what you're doing so that you could receive the honor. Hallelujah. God wants to purpose you for glory in the obstacles that you face in your life. He wants to purpose you for his glory. He wants to display his glory in your life. Nobody else but you this morning. Yes. And so he's allowing you to face that situation so that you could receive your miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Many of us end up, when we are faced with these difficulties, we wallow in self-pity. We feel sorry for ourselves rather than feeling thankful and grateful that God chose us, that he's using us. Many of us live in guilt. Many of us, in fact, we self-inflict curses upon us because instead of giving God praise, instead of thanking him for that which he's about to do, we speak negativity concerning ourselves. And so we self-inflict negativity, curses, I call them, upon us. Many of us, rather than thanking God and stepping out and looking in faith and preparing, we question God about the delay. God, why is this taking so long? I, I, I want the answer now. Ready or not, doesn't matter. I want it now. Give it to me now. Can you imagine if this man had not waited for Jesus to pass by? Now, here's something else that I want you to notice. Hallelujah. When you are purposed for glory, it doesn't matter what the method is that God will use. He will use any and everything to grant you your miracle. I need for you to pay attention for just a little bit for how this blind man was healed. Because we talked about this yesterday, how sometimes we expect this grandiose appearance of Jesus. Fire a burning and winds blowing when he comes. And oftentimes he'll use the very simplest means for him to perform that miracle. I want you to observe something about how he healed this blind man. Scripture tells us, verse 6 of John 9, it says, When he said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with saliva. Can you imagine? And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And then he said to him, Go and wash in the pool of Siloam. So he went and he washed and he came back 
seeing again. Notice the method that Jesus used to heal him. He didn't lift up some elaborate prayer. He didn't come up with some sort of elaborate concoction for his healing. If this blind man had said to him, you know what, I don't want you using no clay. What is that nonsense? You spat on the ground and now you want to put it on my eye? But you see, that man, he so badly wanted his miracle that he was going to just trust in Jesus. Lord, whichever way, whichever way you will do it, Lord, here I am. I submit myself. Do we find ourselves sometimes walking away from our miracle because we're expecting something else? We talked about that yesterday. We have to submit ourselves before him. We have to be meek about it. We have to be humble about it. Lord, whichever way you choose to do it, Lord, here I am. Whichever way, very, very, very important that we submit ourselves. This blind man had to submit himself to Jesus. He easily would have missed his miracle if he wanted to do things his way. But rather he said, you know what? I'm going to allow Jesus to do it the way he wants to. Not my way, but God's way. Hallelujah. In God's time, he will do it for you today. And he will do it in his way, not in your way today. I want to encourage your heart this morning. God has chosen you. What is that obstacle that you are facing? He did not choose somebody else to place that obstacle in their life. He chose you. He allowed you to carry that obstacle so that he could perform the miracle, so that you, hallelujah, could receive the blessing of the miracle, so that you could be purposed for glory. God wants to purpose you for glory today in that obstacle that you are facing right now. He wants to purpose you, hallelujah, for your miracle. He wants to purpose you for greatness. Yes, he wants to purpose you this morning. If only you, you would let him do it his way. Number one, give him thanks for that obstacle. Number two, submit yourself to him. And number three, believe that he will do it for you. This blind man, he had to believe. He, he could not have submitted himself to God unless he believed that his miracle was going to take place. And so you have to believe this morning. If that is you today as we wrap up this session, you say, Pastor Avanel, I've been facing these obstacles in my life. And now I know why. Now I can be purposed for glory. Now I know why. Now I can expect my miracle. Now I know why. Yes, the obstacles may have appeared great. And maybe, yeah, I was living in self-pity. Yeah, maybe... You know, I was walking around with my head low. Maybe I was grumbling and complaining, but not anymore. Because God is turning my obstacle into a miracle. I want to pray for you this morning. Dial star five to raise your hand today. That obstacle that you're facing. Yes, God wants to turn it into a miracle for you. Star five to raise your hand today. We're going to rejoice this morning hallelujah in our tribulation hallelujah we're gonna count it joy this morning we are no longer going to complain we are no longer going to live in self-pity anymore we are no longer going to feel guilty anymore no more are we going to 
impose the self-inflicted curses. No more, no more are we going to speak negativity into our lives. Because God has purposed you. He has chosen you for glory. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. He will be glorified in your life today. He will take that obstacle and he will convert it into a miracle for you. And your name will be remembered. Just like this blind man, his name was remembered. Many came to him. No longer was he scorned. No longer was he rejected. God wants to lift you up this morning. He has chosen you. This is your destiny. You have been purposed for greatness today. And so you can give God thanks. I see the hands that have been lifted this morning. So many, many, many hands lifted up this morning from all over the United States. Yes, yes. Hands have been lifted up all over, all over. Oh, Father, thank you. Lord God, I pray, oh God, for every person within the sound of my voice right now. Lord, you are converting obstacles into miracles this morning. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for having hand selected, having hand chosen your child, Heavenly Father, to allow that obstacle so that they could be purposed for your glory. Father, we say thank you. Lord God, we pray, oh God, that all over this place, oh God, that you will prepare your children for their miracle. Lord, obstacles are being converted into miracles right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, for that which, oh Lord, you have allowed to happen in the life of your child so that you could take the glory and the praise. Lord, you have purposed your child for glory today. Father, I say thank you for the obstacles that you are converting into miracles. Even right now, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, somebody claim it. This obstacle is being converted into a miracle for me. Go ahead, claim it, claim it, claim it, claim it, claim it. In the mighty name of Jesus, apply your faith this morning and claim it. In the name of Jesus, yea, I will no longer complain about it because I know that I am purposed for glory. Hallelujah. I know that is that there is a miracle that is being performed in my life right now. And so I give God thanks. Go ahead and thank him. Thank him. Thank him for the obstacles that he's converted into miracles in your life today. Thank him. Somebody give him the praise with me today. Hallelujah. God is taking that obstacle and he's converting it into a miracle for you this morning. The spirit of God is here. There is so much anointing, so much, so much that is available to you right now. I want you to tap into that anointing today. Just tap into it because, yeah, 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 miracles are being performed even as we speak right now. If you are sick in your body, lay your hand on that part of your body where you are sick right now. Father, thank you for converting my obstacle into a miracle. Go ahead. Just speak those words over your life right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. We are applying our faith this morning in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. Sickness must leave. Hallelujah. Because God is performing a miracle for you right now in the name of Jesus. If you are facing any sort of situation in your life that looks like it's too stubborn, that it won't leave, I want to let you know this morning that God is taking that situation, that stubborn situation, and yes, he's converting it into a miracle for you right now. Go ahead and thank him. Father, I thank you for purposing me for greatness, for purposing me for your glory today. Father, I thank you, Lord, for converting my obstacle into a miracle today. Lift up your hands and just receive your miracle. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive it, receive it, receive it. Father, we thank you for that which you have spoken concerning your child today. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. We have prayed. Bless the name of the Lord. And so here's what we're going to do next. We already quoted the scripture that we're going we're gonna to proclaim of, over our lives. We're going to count it all joy. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever obstacle you know that you are being destined for glory, hallelujah, you have been chosen, you have been selected this morning, hallelujah. So you're going to count it all joy. Because you have fallen into this trial, hallelujah, Pastor Avanel, I declare and I decree 
that I'm counting it all joy. I am standing on James chapter 1 and verse 2 this morning. Hallelujah. I will no longer complain. I will no longer feel sorry for myself. I will no longer wallow in pity. Hallelujah. Rather, I am counting it all joy when I fall into trial. I am counting it all joy. I am standing on James Chapter 1 and verse 2. Somebody, you need to declare that over your life. Hallelujah. Because you see, your miracle is awaiting. Remember, no obstacle, no miracle. And so therefore, you can account it all joy when you fall into various trials. Hallelujah. You can account it all joy. Dial star 5 to raise your hand. You are applying your faith right now. You are standing on the word of God. When God is allowing these trials to come your way so that he can perform his miracle in your life, you've got to count it all joy. James chapter 1 and verse 2, start 5 to raise your hand. Pastor Abba now, hallelujah. I am counting it all joy this morning. When I fall into various trials, I am counting it all joy. Dial star 5 to raise your hand. Star 5 to raise your hand. Go ahead, uh, my brother Victor. I'm counting it as all joy. When I go through the various trials, I'll have joy in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, count it all joy. When you have fallen into these various trials, you're going to count it all joy today. We are standing on James chapter 1 and verse 2. In the mighty name of Jesus, Pastor Avanel, I'm counting it all joy. When I fall into these trials, I'm counting it all joy today. In the name of Jesus. My brother Ola, go ahead. Good morning, Pastor Abner and everyone on the line. I'm counting it all joy when I face trials because God is going to turn my obstacles into miracles. According to James chapter 1 verse 2. Woo! Hallelujah. I love it. I will count it all joy when I fall into various trials because God is changing my obstacle into miracle. Star 5 to raise your hand. We are standing on James chapter 1 and verse 2. Go ahead, my sister Alicia. Uh, Alicia, go ahead. Yes, good morning. I, I'm, I declare an decree and I'm standing on James 1 and 2. I'm counting it all joy when I fall in various trials and I count it all joy. Count it all joy. And because I know God is going to turn all of my obstacles into glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's turning your obstacles oh, into miracles. He yeah. has purposed you for yeah. glory in the name of yeah. Jesus. And so therefore, Alicia, you will count it all joy. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you fall into these diverse trials, you will count it all joy because yeah. God is turning your obstacles into miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are studying on the word of God. We are going to stand on James 1 and 2. We're not just going to declare it on this land. We're going to step out into this day. Coming it all joy this morning. Hallelujah. Knowing that God has purposed you for glory. He's turning your obstacles into miracles. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead, my sister Dolores. Good morning, Pastor. Greetings in Jesus' name. I declare the truth, James 1 and 2. Um, I'm counting all joy when I fall into trials and tribulations and in my career and in my personal life. And I know God is going to turn my obstacles into miracles. I declare that in Jesus' name I pray this morning. Woo! Hallelujah! Bless the name of the Lord. I stand in agreement with you, my sister Dolores. And so that's why we can rejoice in the Lord always. We can count it all joy when we fall into divers, into various trials, because we know that God is taking every obstacle and he's converting it into miracles for you, my sister uh, Dolores, for your brother you. Robert, hallelujah, for your niece, your, your, your grandchildren, hallelujah, Jaden and Carter, for Natasha, in the name of Jesus, we're going to count it all joy. When we see yes. the various trials, because we know that God is taking our obstacles and he's converting them into miracles. In the name Thank of you. Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead, my sister Mary. Good morning, sir. Mary, good morning. Yes. 
Good morning. I stand on James 1, 2 this morning. I, Mary, can count it all joy. Yes, I can count it all joy because of my belief in God and Jesus Christ that when I meet trials of various kinds, I can count it all joy because he's with it within those, those trials with me. And I pray that over my daughter, over my husband, over the church family this morning. In the name of Jesus, we can count it all joy, for we know we will come through as the as gold as refined in fire. Hallelujah. You can count it all joy, my sister Mary, when you fall into various trials. Hallelujah. Because God is taking every obstacle in your life, and he's converting it into a miracle for you, for Nicole, for Lawson, in the name of Jesus. And so, therefore, you're going to count it all joy. In the name of Jesus. We are standing on James chapter 1 and verse 2 this morning. My pastor, Arlene, go ahead. Good morning, pastor. I count it all joy according to James chapter 1 verse 2 that God is turning my sight challenge into a miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, I stand, touch, and agree with you this morning, Mother Arlene. And the rest of us, as we stand in agreement together on this very line, that in the like manner that he laid clay on this blind man's eyes, and he could see, hallelujah, that God is touching your eyes right now in the mighty name of Jesus. He's taking that obstacle in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. And he's converting it into miracle right now. Just lay your hand on these eyes right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Just as he washed away the blindness from this man, he's washing away every blindness from your eyes right now in the name of Jesus. You have been purposed for glory. Yes, yes. He has selected you because you are destined for greatness. In the mighty name of Jesus. And he's taking that obstacle and converting it into miracle for you. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands on my eyes right now, as we stand in agreement with you today, in the mighty name of Jesus, we claim your miracle right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. There's a miracle on the way for you right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. God is restoring your eyesight. He's taking this obstacle out of your way, and he's converting it into miracle in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for that which you have done for your daughter. Hallelujah. No more will she live in self-pity. No more will she live in doubt. No more will she live in fear. No more, no more, oh God. Will she think any negative thoughts? No more, because you have converted her obstacle into a miracle for your glory and honor. Take all the glory in her life, O oh God, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. God is turning your obstacle into a miracle. In <laughs> Jesus' name. We are standing on James chapter 1 and verse 4 and verse 2 this morning. Oh. Hallelujah. We're going to count it all joy because God is converting your obstacle into a miracle. Renee, go ahead, my sister Renee. Praise the Lord. Thank God this morning. Thank you for this woman of God. As having a God bless you. I am standing on the word of God, James chapter 1, verse 2. I am counting in all joy in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All my obstacles are miracles in the name of Jesus. And I declare it through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. God is on this line this morning. I feel the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and pray. Thank you. Just for a moment, since of God, just open up your mind. We shall bring them into miracles. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, thank you. Glory to God. It is done. It is done. Oh, yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. My sister Christina, go ahead and stand on James 1 and 2 with me. Go ahead, my sister. Good morning, Pastor Avenel. Good morning, Prayer Line. I decree and I declare James 1 and 2 that I count it all joy when I go through all the trials. I will not doubt, I will not fear or complain because God is turning my obstacles into miracles in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I stand in agreement Amen. with you, Christina, in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus, that, that there is no obstacle that is too great. In the name of Jesus. Because the greater the obstacle, the bigger the miracle that God is performing in your life. In the name of Jesus. And so therefore you can count it all joy today. Because God is converting your obstacles into miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Mother Lula, go ahead. Good morning, Pastor Abernathy. Good morning. Um, and everyone else, um, I declare and decree I stand on James 1 and 2. According, I am counting all joy when I fall into various trial and tribulation. And I'm counting all joy when I fall into divers, uh, trials and tribulation. And, um, of course, and, Converting all, all my obstacles into miracles in the mighty name of Jesus for my children and my grandchildren and everyone else in Jesus' name. All of my obstacles turn into miracles in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. And so we're going to count it all joy. We're counting it all joy with you, Mother Lula, for the obstacles that are in your way. We count it all joy because God is converting them into miracles. For you, miracles for your children, your grandchildren, and your great grand in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, he's converting the obstacles into miracles yeah. in the Thank mighty you. name of Jesus. Natasha, go ahead, Natasha. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. I uh, declare and decree my brethren, count is all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. And this goes for my children and my parents in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I stand in agreement with you, Natasha, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will count it all joy when the obstacles come your way, when the trials come, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes, God is just preparing you, hallelujah, for your miracle in the midst of the obstacle, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we can count it all joy with you today. When you fall into diverse trials, God is converting the obstacles into miracles for you, for your sons, for your mom, for your dad, Miguel, in the name of Jesus. Obstacles converted into miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, a caller from Virginia. Go ahead and uh, what's your name? Yes, this is Sister Jacqueline. My other phone is charging. Uh -huh. Okay, Jacqueline, go ahead. Good morning. Yes, I count it all joy when I fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of my faith work is patience, and Lord, the Lord is turning my trials into miracles. So I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord for the victory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There is no obstacle which is too great 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The greater the obstacle, the bigger the miracle. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And so, therefore, he is taking every obstacle in your life, and he's converting it into miracle for you today. And so you can count it all joy when you fall into diverse trials, into various situations today, because God is converting, he's turning these obstacles into miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for that which you have spoken concerning your children today. Lord God, it is done and it is accomplished. Lord, we are trusting you that on this very line, that many will return and give their testimony of your great, great miracle that you have performed in their lives. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And let the children of God say, Amen. Amen. And amen. Bless the name of the Lord. It has been such a joy to have listened to this message today. I don't know about you, but for me personally, oh, I I better claim it too. Hallelujah. God is taking every obstacle that this ministry faces in the name of Jesus. And he's converting these obstacles into miracles over this ministry. I speak it over you, my brother. I speak it over you, my sister. Even as you walk under the grace of this ministry, that that very grace that God has placed upon my life, that it is extended upon you in the name of Jesus, it is extended upon your loved ones, and that he is taking every obstacle that you will encounter, and he's converting it into miracle for you in the mighty name of Jesus. As it has been spoken, so shall it be done. And so today we can step out in victory. We can step out in strength. Hallelujah. He's taking those trials and he's converting them into triumph for you today. We can walk, hallelujah, in authority. We can walk in power, knowing that God has taken every obstacle and he's converting it into miracle for you today. Father, we thank you for that which you have spoken. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And let the children of God say, Amen. Amen and Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. We give God thanks and praise for that which he has done. It has been a joy to have gathered with you today, to be with you this morning. As many of you know, we're going to have this session, the repeat. It's going to be at 8 a.m. this morning. And somebody asked me the other day, they said, do you go live on the 8 a.m. session? That's in 40 minutes. That's Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Central. And uh, we usually go live on the 8 a.m. session. At the end of that session, we will take prayer requests, uh, praise reports. So if you want to join again, if you want to listen to that word again, you want to apply it, you know somebody who wants to listen to that word. Now that you've heard it, you want somebody else to join, you're going you're gonna to let them know, text them or call them, let them know to call in and to uh, join us in prayer at, on the 8 a.m. session. And then 12 noon today we'll be back on. And, of course, um, with uh, our sister Victoria, Mother Ferdinand, praying over the nation and over the world and prayer requests are taken during that time as well. Then 9 p.m. Eastern time with Pastor Tim. Uh, 9 p.m. Uh, with Pastor Tim. It has truly been a joy to have been with you this morning. I also want to remind those of you who are thinking about signing up for our life skill training slash leadership training. We're changing the name to life skill training. You want to learn more about the ministry. You want to learn more about us. You want to uh, find out what makes us tick. Uh, you, we, you're going to come backstage with us when you take leadership training. You're going to learn about a lot more about the work, about the ministry. Most importantly, you're going to learn life skills. They're all biblically based. Uh, uh, it's a four-week session. We do it on Saturdays. I start at uh, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Saturdays. You can join in for a couple hours. If you think you might miss a Saturday, you can watch the recordings. We are on Zoom, so you also get to know people. Many of the people whose voices you hear on the line, you'll get to know them in person. And, uh, and so I want to encourage you uh, to plan to sign up. There's a lot of information on leadership training on the website. Uh, fulfillchurch.com, but you also can call 
3440. And for those of you who continue to uh, put your faith in this work with your giving, I want to say thank you so much from the depths of my heart for uh, being faithful to God. He who has made you faithful over small things, he will make you ruler. Because you have been faithful over small things, you will rule over great, great things. Thank you so much for sowing into this work and into this ministry today. You can sow using PayPal or Zelle uh, to office at WRCM.us or website fulfillchurch.com or the cash app. Look for FL Church, Fulfill Life Church. God bless you, everybody. It has truly been a joy to have been with you this morning. I'm going to unmute the line to allow you to greet uh, 